What are you doing? From here, we're going to turn our fabric right side out. Okay, so from here, what we're going to do is create a casing that is going to have our elastic. So all you're going to do is fold down the edges, like so, and just do that all the way around. Um, make it even, of course. And pin it down. Um, I would say make it, you could make it about, it depends on what elastic you're using. I'm going to be using this one, which is uh, 12 millimeters wide, so it's almost a centimeter and a half wide. So, I mean, if you compare the width of that to your casing, you could do like, you know, about an inch or whatever. I don't know, whatever you want to do. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn that down and then, and pin it. Okay, so that is all pinned all the way around. Now I'm just going to bring it back to my machine. And I'm going to have to take off this part here. So that I can fit my fabric around the um, arm here. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that now. And sewing with a straight stitch go all the way around. Yes, honey. Look. Oh, my little threads are caught. Yes, honey. Look. Sorry. What are you sorry for? Okay, so I've actually gone ahead and turned mine back right side out just because it's going to be easier to see uh, the edge of my fabric. So when you sew, you're going to want to leave um, a small gap so that you can thread the elastic through. So there's my gap there. I'm just going to get my elastic and I'm going to put a safety pin in the end of it because this just makes it a little bit easier to thread it through. So I'm just going to start from this side and basically thread it through. You just sort of, um, you know, push the pin through. You can obviously feel it through the fabric. And just go all the way around. If you have a bigger pin, it obviously will not take as long and it's a bit easier but this is the only size safety pin that I had and it's fine for this small project I'm almost finished already okay so there's my end just there now what you're going to want to do is you need a hole that is small enough to keep the bags in but yet big enough that your hand can fit in So I'm just going to pull my elastic, even out the ruffles a little bit and just sort of play around with it. Okay, I actually think that will probably be pretty good. So you can see that the hole is quite small, but because of the elastic it is obviously going to stretch. 
and that's more than enough to accommodate my hand so yeah that's about how long I'll be doing mine so what you want to do is just pull this fabric out of the way and take your safety pin out you don't need that anymore well, not right now and then you're going to take some scissors and just cut it off where you need it. Yeah. Mm. Spoon, good girl. So now these two edges, I'm just gonna I'll turn this around so you can see. I'm just gonna put one end on top of the other, and then I'm gonna put this in my machine and do a zigzag stitch and just um, connect them together. so that the elastic goes inside the casing. Yes, Kayla? Okay, so now what you're gonna do is take this back onto your machine and the width of the arm on the machine is actually gonna pull that out a bit and make that part there flat so that you can sew a straight stitch and close that hole. have that end complete you can go ahead and just sort of even out your ruffles a little bit so it looks a little bit neater so if we turn this right side out this is what we have so far so it's this long tube with an elastic opening as you can tell you can't see if you if you can't sew straight you're not going to be able to see you will not be able to tell so now we're going to go on to this end and this will be the top end so this end is the end that we will pull the bags out of okay so on to the other end I've just gone ahead and done the same as what I did on the bottom and that is fold down another casing. This one I've done a little bit wider because I'm going to be using this ribbon. So I'm just going to take this back to the machine. I'm going to sew a straight stitch all around the edge of this again. And I'm going to be leaving another opening so that I can thread the ribbon in.